Hello everyone, uh, my name's Matt, and I have a, uh, a love of Excel and the uh, ways you can make things more efficient and uh, essentially cut the amount of time that you do things uh, quite a lot and um, impress everyone around you. One of those things is, one of the most useful things you can use in Excel is the VLOOKUP. And a VLOOKUP is a very powerful tool. It's uh, can be intimidating in the beginning, but as soon as you are uh, able to harness it, it, it just comes to second nature. Uh, there are two components in a VLOOKUP. Well, two tables, essentially. Your original table and the table in which you would like to input your information. What happens is, you'll have your column over here, all right, the value you wish to find in the original table without going back and forth and finding it manually because you might have thousands and thousands of rows and you will type your formula in here equals v look up as soon as you open the brackets the v look up shows you the different components of this formula your lookup value is will be a value in the table you're currently using and it'll be the value that is common between both tables. You can see over here we've got name and here we have name. So we'll use that as our lookup value. We then come to the table array. The table array is essentially a table. It's your original table where the amount is stored and where you would like to find it. So we'll highlight the entire table like so. What I like to do just to ensure that the table is, um, to make sure that our formula doesn't move, if we move the tables around, you can click F4. That'll lock the cells in, and we won't have to worry about dra when we drag our formula down, if anything changes. And yes, our third component is the column index number. Now that we've got our table array, we stay in that table, and we look at which number column the amount is stored. Now we can see in this table, the one we are looking up in, our amount is stored in the second column. There's the first column, the second column, which means we type in 2. We then have true approximation and a exact match. So uh, we will have true for an approximate match and false for an exact match. We obviously always want an exact match, and we just double click that. And that's our VLOOKUP formula. You close the brackets, click enter, and you'll see this amount of year has been looked up from the other table. And we can drag this formula down, safe in the knowledge that it's not going to miss anything in this table. You can see here the formula is working because Roxy and Sarah are not in the original table, and therefore we get a hashtag N A. And that is how you do a VLOOKUP. Thank you.